At the same time, Rumble operates very well on a low amount of farm. Has a really good level 6 spike regardless whether he has items or not. Maokai generally wants to get tanky, soak up a lot of damage because there's quite a lot of damage on the Origin side. There are tons of damage, I feel, from both of these respective sides. You can see the team comps on your screens, guys, for the fourth time today. Let us know on Twitter, at LOL Esports. Hashtag OG win if you believe in the newcomers of Origin. Or hashtag SK win. Roughly equal. A side edge on Candy Panda against Niels, but they're going in. Oh, Amazing has jumped in. This is a 3v3. Amazing forced to back away. Now we do see Niels and Mithy. They're still alive as they manage to get through the tribush. Sven's going right to continue to chase. Soaz is using the teleport to get away from Kalista. Sven's going low, and Niels is on the board once again for Origin. A good impact, but at the same time, when you run Equalizer, Sejuani ulti, you want to either dive towers or get a dragon. And it looks like diving towers indeed. Fox is going to get swapped backwards, but he throws himself away. He's still alive for a few seconds longer, and the prison snipes him from downtown. Sven Skerin is the next target, is amazing, flashes forward. Now in rated, still looking for his 1,000th assist, is yet to get on the board. Amazing now, in and amidst the chaos. Soaz hiding on the flanks as Mithy is knocked up by the mine. We do see the kill on the board here for Candy Panda, and Enrated is there with 1,000 regular season assists. And against a Kalista, you have to feel this is going to SK Gaming. Is in fact secured there by the Rend. Origin looking for the team fight. Death Sentence goes wide, there's no flash for Freddy. He's going to be the sacrificial lamb for the Dragon. Stalling it out as long as he can. Not even gonna give up anything further. So Origin with their fifth kill of the game move across the map. Yeah, and they're, they're trying to stay one step ahead. Hook goes here on Freddy. No way me to follow. Mithy goes over, though. He does. The box is connected. Sven, as well as Freddy, and amazing, connects with a two-man glacial prison. And Rayton has now joined the fight as he throws out the mine. It's going to knock up Origin, but it's just not enough to save Freddy's life. And SK Gaming give up two kills for walking through a jungle that truthfully are believers. Dragon down to 1,000 HP, 800 HP. Who's going to secure it? It looks like it should be amazing. He's got smites available. He's holding on to it. Death Sentence connects on Fred in the Equalizer. Splits SK up. We do see the Hemoblade coming down. And Sven will be popped by that one. Amazing with another kill on the board as Peke gets the first of his own. Emperor's Divide will divide the map. And Freddy and Sven give up two more kills as Origin grab the first dragon. Origin is not doing the dragon. They're basically luring SK in, tangling that bait in front of their eyes. Do you want an SK? How badly do you want it? Walk in and get roasted immediately. Equalizer comes in. Glacier Prison was even held or was still on cooldown. And the sheer amount of damage on this squad is just fantastic. Well, Fox gets caught out by the position reverser. Yeah, and the locket is finished for added tankiness. Niels is tanky right now. Amazing is tanky. Peke is slippery. We're going in for round three. Well, let's see. And rated forced to flash away as Freddy's now joined. Mithy puts the box down once more. Another kill on the board to Candy Panda before Freddy gives up his fifth. Obviously, Soas will go with the teleport. Amazing is still in a pit. <laughs> Well, see me, here we go! He's got a three-man Glacial Prison! Origin and I'm looking for another team fight as Freddy has managed to zone away Origin. But a long-range Acid Hunter secures another kill for Niels. And so is his teleported in. He's put the Equalizer down, he's got himself a double kill. He's burning them down as Niels gets a double of his own. And Fox is set to retreat. Origin get themselves four kills. An amazing once again with a phenomenal engage. I love what Origin did. They showed a couple of members. So us in the bot lane. Somebody else on the right side. They thought the pit was clear. Somebody was going to ward it. But oh. Amazing comes out with the Glacier Prissy. Miffy drops here. Is this Baron going to go to escape? Well, let's find out. It's only Fox left. Fox is in trouble and he's down. The answer is no. Baron is up. Amazing. He's going to join on the Baron play and so as. Well, day and night between these teams. Sven and Enrated, they think they've got one up. They do catch Neil. Sven is now putting damage down. But look again, another long-range twisted advance. And this has bought enough space for Pekka to join the fight. Mithy and Niels get one more kill onto Sven Skira. The Equalizer went down south as Freddy is being chased down. Soez is going to get the burning kill onto Enrated. And Freddy is left to fight against all of Origin. And it's just a matter of time before four more members go down. And Origin. Um, in the fray here, we're going to get top. 
Well, Mithy does get caught out. He's put the box down. Peck has thrown out the Hemo Plague of Spin Scare and gets dropped. We do see the Emperor's Divide knocking everyone around. It's enough to get a kill on Peke, but not enough for anything more. Fox gets swapped into the rest of Origin. Four more members down. Niels is continuing to chase. Azad Hunter's not connecting yet. A third one just like Candy Panda. Auto attacks are not. Amazing. Looks for a further kill. He's going to need to back away. As Candy Panda survives the team fight, but Baron's still being used. It's exquisite to watch. And for SK, you know, we do see them jumping on Peke. Peke's got that hourglass. He's going to get run down here by Sven Skier. Yeah, on, yes. He's going to be able to get a little bit of sustain back. Hourglass is not even going to get used as Peke goes down. Again, small little mistake, but Niels may be able to close this one out. He's found Fox. Fox does the little shuffle dash sideways. Not going to be enough to survive. Amazing. One on two. He's thrown down the Glacial Prison to stun up SK. Freddy and Enrated on retreat. Enrated pulled up by the Fates call. And he throws himself back in. So as knocked up. But so as will burn down Freddy as Niels. It gets the kill credit. Gets himself another double kill. Yeah, this reminds me exactly of the position Gambit was in against Elements. At this point, it doesn't matter how well you place the fights, who you catch, but it'll take you too long to actually finish that. SK held on to all of their ultimates except Spence Garen. So Agony's Embrace is not there. And we see Fred, she's looking for going. They won't let over And another long range! Twisted advance. He's in the middle of three, but he's going to go down because there's no more support from SK. Good flash by Miffy. Something tells me that play was a little bit telegraphed. Usually when a Maokai storms at you, he's coming for the Twisted Advance. Flash is over, but... Desperate times call for desperate measures, and that's exactly what SK tried, because you have to remember that part of the map is fully dark for them. They're face-checking into nothing, and here, nothing comes to bite them in the ass. And Origin are looking for more kills. Fence Garen's being chunked down from the Acid Hunters. Niels with another kill. Fox gets one into Mithy, but that simply doesn't matter. Peck is looking for Candy Panda. He's going to hourglass, but Rend is still up, and Rend is not enough. Amazing gets himself a double kill to clean up the back end of the fight. And Origin are onto the Baron. And poor Miffy, in these long extended fights where people are face-checking for vision, supports are usually the ones to drop because they're the least tanky. When teams get this far behind, they get very bloodthirsty to at least kill one guy on the team uh, to save face, and Miffy is the one that falls. 0-2 in 25, sticking true to the support routes, not getting a kill. It's fantastic, but it also shows you just how big the deficit is for SK Gaming. How much work they need to pay attention to. So, Mithy has thrown down the box. Freddy's he's caught gone. Freddy and he's thrown him backwards. I think the box was actually proc. Niels is left alone as Sven Skeren and Narrating continue to fight. Freddy still alive. This is the longest he's been alive in a team fight in 30 minutes' time. Niels is going to swap SK around as he gets focused down. Gets knocked out by the Emperor's Divide. And Sven gets the shutdown onto Niels at 12 1 and 16. SK still alive as Origin have had the messiest team fight they have all game. But they've got such a major deficit to play with. Candy Panda gets another kill before being shut down by Peke, and Origin are actually retreating. This is a little bit messy as it's a two for two, and the low health Baron up members of Origin are re-engaging on the next, on the inhibitor rather. Inhibitor turret number two is down, and Origin are on the way out. From SK, never give up, never surrender, just keep keep digging. Maybe Origin will make more mistakes, but we do see that's a going lot in of speed. They flung Fox in and he's down. He just gets obliterated. His HP melted like a hot knife through butter. Two more kills for Niels. Freddy's pulled backwards. One for Peke and Soez respectively. And that will be the game. Origin with the heavy rush on the final in here. Yeah, Wombo combo coming in. Mid lane, a lot of minions. Top lane, a lot of minions. Nexus Tower is bleeding down, dropping like flies. And Origin, the crowd agrees. Origin open up the summer split, proving that they are the real deal. They are now 3-0 and zero after destroying SK Gaming. Ever favorite high five hug? But Niels, 14, 1, 18.